sketching is a huge part of my creative routine and I thought I would just share the process and a little bit behind one of my floral um, spreads in my sketchbook or my art journal and I am starting with just a really quick messy and colorful um, wash or background. Um, if those of you out there think you need to start with a white background first, you are mistaken. You can totally start with color first. And I love just using a variety of different watercolors all at the same time and getting that bright, messy color down. Now, the only thing I'm doing during this process is just staying away from making mud or letting things mix too much to where they turn brown. So I'm trying to keep some of those splotches of color separate so they are a little bit more vibrant. And once that background dries, this is when I love to draw over the top of it. Now, I use all kinds of different things to draw with, but one of my favorites is just your basic black Sharpie pen. And I know some people might watch this process and think it looks scary because I'm not sketching things out in pencil. But for me, this process is really important um, because it helps me not overthink things. A lot of times when I have a pencil and an eraser, I'm really tempted to be um, too perfect, to overthink. But when I have a pen and it's permanent and I only have one shot, um, I find that it really frees up my brain and my creativity. Um, if I make a mistake, it's okay. It's not the end of the world, but it really forces me to not get too comfortable um, with the process of like erasing and overthinking. So for me, my creative process tends to be um, a lot about being in the moment and not overthinking it too much. So using a permanent marker is what really helps me do this and it really helps me actually practice as well. So I've been sketching and drawing my entire life um, it's something that comes natural and is comfortable to me. So I wouldn't recommend if you're nervous to do something like this, you know, feel free to start with a pencil and sketch and then fill it back in with black lines. Um, but if you're willing to kind of take a risk and get a little brave with your materials and your process, I definitely suggest experimenting and trying a permanent pen simply because it really pushes you outside your comfort zone and really forces you to be in the moment in that process. So I love sketching, doodling, drawing over the top of those colorful backgrounds. But for me, I really like the look and the feel of what I call a push and pull between that background. So while that sketch, that black sketch over the top of that color is really great, I like to then go back in and pick some of my, my flowers to kind of give some pop to. And watercolors are wonderful because you can layer them. So I can go right over the top of a lot of those colors um, and get some really rich saturation and contrast so that things begin to pop and kind of stand out and there becomes this push and pull between the flowers and the drawing and the color in the background and the color in the foreground. And this is something that I really enjoy doing. So I'm basically just working my way across the surface, picking some of the things to fill with color. Um, I'm not doing anything too technical or that difficult or even crazy. Um, I'm simply just using more saturated color. So I'm not mixing it that much with water. I want some deep dark color so that some of those flowers are going to really pop and stand out against that really crazy wild colorful background. But I'm also choosing to hold on to some of those simple line drawings. I'm choosing not to fill everything with color. Again, because I like how you can create kind of this push and pull. Now the last step for me is to go back in with some white acrylic paint and I'm just here and there adding some of that white to some of my drawings. Again, to add some push and pull to keep things really um, working with contrast. And this is one of my favorite tricks for creating like some immediate contrast is, you, is, is adding white or black to something and it immediately is gonna pop off of that colorful background. So this is just a simple page. It took me about 20 minutes 
to a half an hour. Um, that's about the time frame that I like to work in when I'm just practicing and playing in my art journal or my sketchbook. Um, anything longer than that is too much time in my day, so these 20 minute pages really are a great way to practice and experiment um, and get my creativity out. So I'm gonna add the supplies in the description um, of this video so you guys can know what I'm using. And I just wanna encourage you, um, find a little inspiration to play in those art journals and sketchbooks and not feel confined by perfection or getting things right, but really using your sketchbook and your art journal to experiment and to play with new ideas and to really just kind of take some time in your day to get creative.